What's up guys, I'm Kenny from Upscale Lures and this is the F3 show number 38 where I take my newsletter, uh, the First Fishing Friday newsletter and I turn it into the F3 show so I can put it on YouTube. Uh, I try to take and compile some interesting fishing news. At least I find it interesting. Hopefully you guys find it interesting as well. And then I tell you a little bit about my company Upscale Lures, a little bit of news about that. And then at the end I'll wrap it up with the lure giveaway uh, which I do every single month. So if you sign up for the First Fishing Friday newsletter, uh, you are entered to win, not just once, it's every single month that uh, that it, there's a lure giveaway winner. So uh, you guys can sign up in the link below. They'll take you two seconds to sign up. And uh, all right, let's get started. For section number one is video pick of the month. Uh, we have a Italian startup, Moy Composites. I think that's how you say it. Uh, uh, 3D printed the world's first fiberglass boat. It was printed with continuous fiber, composite materials, and thermal setting resin. Pretty cool. Uh, there was another one I featured a while back about a 3D printed boat, but I don't, I don't think it was fiberglass. It was like the regular, you know, 3D printed materials. This is a little bit different where they have the uh the fiber i think it's yeah it's like fiberglass uh in the in the material of the the 3d printed material and then on top of that it's not a normal 3d printer it's not like uh the 3d printers you see you know where you have like the desktop kind of thing it's like a full out it's it's huge it's like a full out like robot thing with a different a bunch of different axes 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 however you say it, um, like pivot points, accesses, I think that's it. And uh, yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. I don't know how how in the heck they program that thing, to, you know, that's that's got to be some pretty intense stuff. But uh, pretty neat, pretty cool. If you check out, I'm sure I have the, the video right here or whatever, you guys can check it out. Uh, just the curves and stuff on that boat, is it's pretty slick. And uh, you guys can check out the couple of videos that I have below. Uh, most of the videos that I found were in Italian, so if you speak, speak Italian, that's perfect, but uh, these were the couple of videos that I found that were in English. So if you guys want to check them out, links will be below. I'm curious how this will like transfer into um, like a marketable or sellable product. You know, to what point um, is, this, uh, is this marketable or sellable? You know, they didn't really say the cost. I mean, is it is it faster? Is it you know, is it cheaper than um, making a regular boat? How durable is it? I'm not really sure. That's that's the questions I want answered at least. At, in the beginning, it's probably more expensive, right? Because they're talking about they had like a, what was it, a patent pending 3D printing process or was it the materials? Uh, something like that. So yeah, I guess, you know, it's it's in the beginning phases. So probably a lot more has to be done, I'm assuming, to make this, uh, to make it marketable. Section number two, uh, we have the fishing news of the month, and we're going back to 1932 when George Perry caught the world's largest uh, largemouth bass. He was in the midst of the Great Depression, and he was out fishing for food. He wasn't really fishing for fun at that time. Um, he was out uh, to feed his family. And uh, little did he know, he would feed the world's fascination for, for decades uh, with his world record fishing story. And I have a couple videos uh, where I think it was this guy and I think it was his grandson. Um, they go out to the exact spot where uh, George caught this bass. Pretty cool. Um, he gets like some pretty, pretty sick drone footage of the area and he kind of ex explains uh like the waterway and stuff kind of neat uh, i was on montgomery lake um where this was caught and then uh, i do have another video uh where this guy interviews uh this author that wrote a book about george perry and goes into a little bit more detail about uh there was this competition that was going on i believe it was f with field and stream I, george i don't think even knew about it and then uh, his buddies told it about it, told told him about it um, that he had to enter, and then he had to go to I believe it was a post office that had the certified scale, got it weighed, uh, came out to twenty two pounds and four ounces. That is 
a freaking giant bass. It's a world record bass. It's freaking crazy. The thing is, is freaking huge. And uh, yeah, you'll be able to see some uh, uh, some pretty cool pictures of that and some pretty cool stories. So yeah, I'll leave the links below uh, for the two videos that I that I found to be pretty interesting. Before I hit up section three, I want to check in with you guys. And I want to know if you guys are enjoying this so far. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Hit the thumbs up. Hit the thumbs down. Let me know. Help, let me know. I, I need some feedback here. I'm sitting here in a room all by myself recording this. And I don't know if you guys like this or not. You guys you guys need to let me know. So right now I'm fishing for some, some feedback. So, you know, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that thumbs down button hit the subscribe button if you like it and if you you know if you're really digging this share this with your fishing buddies and uh yeah that that would be great help spread the love you know if, if you do like this that would be fantastic all right so let's jump into section number three right section number three that's where we're at i gotta scroll down a little bit here and uh yeah here we go section number three uh, uh, my website was looking a little bit dusty, so we made some big updates to our website. Um, a couple hundred dollars <laughs> updates to our website, but I think I think it was well worth it. Now it looks like a little bit more like 2020 and not 2015. Um, so that would be awesome if you guys would check it out and you know let me know let me know what you think. Um, which actually that leads me on to the. Uh, this, the survey of the month, which is about my website, which you can give me um, uh, some some uh, some insights if you like the uh, the website. Um, so I'm on there now, and just yeah, it's so more interactive. Like it's just like I'm scrolling. You got different pictures. I got all my different lures on there: the spiked worm, the big normus, uh, the swim bait, my nifty fifty spinner. And I think one of my favorite things about it is that it has like the the live video it just automatically plays uh, from YouTube. So that's pretty cool. We got the Brendan Miller Signature Series Spiked Worm, and that's constantly playing. And then we have all the colors we have. You scroll down, the different colors come up, and then I explain um, all the ways it can be fished. And then we move on to the Big Norma Spinner. No boring here. That's right. We got the uh, the big normal spinner with the insanely durable paint. You could smash that with a hammer, and that stuff's not coming off. I'm using uh, the super high quality, the best skirt material I have ever found. I love that stuff. Fade resistant, super stretchy, uh, lifelike in the water, paired with a good Gamagatsu hook. And then, uh, oh, look at that, the F3 show. Hmm. All right, we got some of those in there. So, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I just love the look of this thing. Just It came together uh, really well. But, all right, guys, there it is. Uh, my new updated website makes it a little, look a little bit more like 2020. And... Uh, yeah, I th I think it I think it looks pretty good. So check it out, see what you think, and uh, you know take take the survey. Um, what section is that? I don't, I don't want to say the wrong one here. So we'll go back. So if you guys want to take the survey, uh, that will be in section number six to take the survey of the month to help me out um, to make the website even better. All right, moving on to section number four, catch of the month. Uh, no one sent in any fish picks uh, last month, so um, I took I uh, decided to put my dad in there. Got a pretty good picture of a uh, smallmouth bass. Um, let's let's I'll actually read the thing here. My dad caught the hard fighting smallmouth bass on the big normal spinner um, in northern Wisconsin. He caught this uh, this summer, and uh, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, smallmouth bass, you know, you can just see how giant that is. You had to, he had to hold it super close to the uh, to the camera. Something about those spinners, man, uh, and uh, smallmouth bass. They just they like go hand in hand. They they love those things. I uh, I do pretty well on our local river here um, in springtime um, with the uh, with the big Norma spinner. I was catching some some real nice ones, and. Uh, 
The good thing about the uh, the big normal spinner, inline spinners in general, is that you can even in a river you can uh, keep them more on top. You know, just uh, keep your rod tip up, and then a faster retrieve, and that thing's just gonna run right on top. And that that chopping action with that blade, them them smallies cannot resist that. Um, so that that kind of leads me right into uh, section number five, uh, which is the featured item of the month. Uh, which, uh, yeah, smallmouth bass like Big Norma Spinners, as you can see. You guys can check it out. Check out all the uh, Big Norma Spinners uh, that I have available on my new website, which, uh, yeah, it even kind of shows it in a different perspective on my website. Um, let's see if I can go. I'll go there now. See, there you go. Spinners, Big Norma Spinner. Um, you can see them all right there. Let's check out this one. Big Norma Spinner number 38. Uh, currently, I'm just doing like one-off colors. Uh, so you definitely know that you're getting something uh, unique, that there's there's basically only one of that lure with that color, uh, which I think is pretty cool. So you know that you're not you're not throwing the same uh, the same Senko that 40 other people throw through on that lake already you got a uh, very uh, Very different different unique spinner That uh, the fish are going like hey, what what the heck is that? Let's let's check that out. That looks a little bit different not the same Watermelon, you know yum dinger or whatever <laughs> Whatever those things are called. So yeah, there you go. Um, featured item of the month, the Big Norma Spinner. We're sliding into section number six there, uh, which is the survey of the month. Um, and you can help make uh, my new website uh, even better um, by taking this uh, two minute survey pretty quick. Uh, so here's, here's the first question. Um, in a few words, how did you describe your first impressions of our new website? So, you know, a couple words, what, what kind of comes to your mind when you first went to our website, and then uh, section or not section question number two, uh, what was the most interesting you found? What's the most interesting thing you found on our website? What kind of stood out? Where you're like, oh hey, that's kind of neat, or you had to check it out some more. Um, and then this, I think this might be the most important one um, to help us out. Like, what's the most boring thing on our website? What's you're like, like why why the hell is that on there? Um, that would be, that would, uh, I think help us out the most. I mean, I, you know, we, I don't know. We, I need a different perspective. I need your guys' perspective, you know, because I, I work on it all the time. I'm sitting there staring at it for hours, trying to make everything work and flow right. Uh, you, you stare at it for so long, you just, you kind of lose that perspective. So, um, that, that's why, it is so valuable to help help make a better website is to get your guys' feedback that it's just uh yeah you can't you can't beat that um and then without saying all the all the questions here but uh another one um would be uh what's one thing you would change about it so i guess that would maybe kind of tie into the last question as as, as well um, so yeah, that would be the survey of the month. Uh, the link will be below. Super, super quick to uh, to take and uh, helps me out immensely. Helps me out immensely. So that would be great. So um, we'll move right on to uh, section number seven. This would be the lure giveaway of the month. Uh, like I said earlier, all you have to do is sign up for the first Fishing Friday newsletter, and then you're entered forever. Uh, for every single month, uh, you have a chance to win uh, the lure giveaway. If you win, all you got to do is contact me, email, uh, through my website, whatever, Instagram, and uh, we'll get that sent out to you. Um, so this month's uh, lure giveaway winner uh, is el927 at gmail.com. I just put out the last five characters of your email address. I'm not going to put out your whole email address. So if that is you, uh, make sure to contact me and we'll get that lure out to you. All right, guys, that's the F3 show number 38, the video podcast newsletter internet show on the internet. <laughs> uh, that would be greatly appreciated if you uh, watch this 20, you know, 50 more times 
the YouTube algorithm would just absolutely love that. You know, hit that like button, share this uh, with all your fishing buddies to make this uh, bigger and better than ever. That would be fantastic. I would appreciate that. That would help me uh, continue uh, to be supported by you guys to keep making uh, these uh, very, I don't know, unique fishing shows that I don't see a ton of other people making stuff like this. I don't know. If there is, let me know. Who else is doing something like this? Um, I would like to know. That would be interesting to check them out. You know, Maybe I could feature them on this uh, fishing show. And uh, also a little side note, uh, if you find some fishing news that's local by you, uh, hit me up, let me know. Maybe I'll feature it in the next, uh, the next F3 show. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.